Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I was so excited to come across all of these amazing giant planters at Dollar Tree. I grabbed a bunch of them and I'm gonna show you some really simple and easy hacks you can use these planters for that anyone can make. I also wanna thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. All right, so I am taking you onto our front porch and we're gonna make a really quick and easy side table to go next to my patio chairs. You'll need two of the Dollar Tree planters, also a large wooden round piece. And we are also gonna be using Total Tech by the original Super Glue. This is an amazing adhesive, you guys. It is a heavy duty adhesive and sealant in one. It works indoors and outdoors, so it's gonna be perfect for our side table because it's gonna be outdoors. And it also works on all materials, so it's going to bond our plastic and our wood all together. So you just need one glue for this, which is so helpful when it comes to creating quick and easy projects. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my Total Tech and I'm running glue all the way around the bottom edge. I flipped this first pot upside down. So I ran that glue all the way around the edge and then I also added several large blobs of the glue so that the next pot that we are going to put on top of that right side up is going to be able to adhere and kind of stick to itself. And you just wanna make sure that you press these together firmly and this takes only about an hour to dry but it takes about 24 hours to cure. So like I said, this Total Tech adhesive works great for all materials. So I'm running this glue around the top edge of that top planter and then adding the wood right on top of there. I did make sure to go around the entire rim of this planter. I didn't want any kind of bugs or anything kind of climbing in there. So this is going to seal and make a perfect seal to keep everything together. Now this is a wooden piece that was left over from our wedding, obviously. I just flipped it upside down. The planters are about 14 and a half inches wide. You just wanna make sure you find a wooden round piece that is 15 inches or wider. Of course, you want to make sure you press everything all together so that it sticks and adheres into one big piece. Now, the middle part, I decided to add some of this Dollar Tree nautical rope too. You can see there's kind of a weird gap going on. So I just took my rope and put it into the total tech that was right in the middle, wrapped it around a few times, and then tied it in a knot in the back. So this literally only takes a few minutes to make. I will also have more information about Total Tech linked down in the description box below. So you can check that out after this video. This is the perfect cute little side table in addition to our front porch. Next, we're going to make a raised ice bucket using a Dollar Tree planter and an inexpensive tomato cage that I just found at Walmart. And what I'm doing is there are three spikes on the bottom. We're gonna flip it upside down and push those spikes out to the edges so we can secure our pot down into the middle of them and kind of press to give it some shape. Then what you're gonna do is take the tops of those spikes and bend them in and over the edge and rim of your planter. And that is going to hold your planter in place. So this is actually really sturdy and secure, just like this. I decided to use mine as an ice bucket, but this is also a different way you could even add plants to and use it as a raised planter as well. Oh. 
And now I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. My friend Natalie over at Design to the Nines is the one that inspired me to do this concrete project. You can check her out and I'll link her down below. She did an amazing concrete hack on one of her recent videos and she gave me the confidence and courage to try this one out. I'm using this commercial grade concrete or quick crete 5000 that I got from Home Depot. And what I'm gonna be doing is basically adding it to one of the planters and then sticking in one of the broom handles from Dollar Tree. You wanna make sure you remove the handle, the plastic handle off of your broom handle sticks. And this is another tip that I learned from Natalie. She just put her bag of concrete, which is super duper heavy on a table and then kind of pushed the concrete down into the bowl that was down on the floor or on the ground. And this way you're not killing your back. <laughs> so I just kind of added a little concrete and a little water at a time and stirred until I had sort of a thick consistency. So here's a look at what I basically had in the end. It doesn't have to look pretty because we're gonna be covering this up later. So the bumpiness is no big deal. Once it was all mixed together, I took my broom handle from Dollar Tree and sat it right in the middle of the concrete and used some painter's tape to help hold it up so that it would stand up while the concrete dried. And then I just let this sit for a couple days. It was a couple days before I got back to this project and realized after I had set this all up, I never took the sticker off of the handle. So instead of going through the trouble of trying to remove the sticker, I literally just took some spray paint, sprayed it black, just disappears. You don't even know it's there and you don't even have to worry about all the goo and everything that comes along with getting stickers off. So once the spray paint dried, I took the tape off. You can see our broom handle is now secured completely and it's very, very heavy. So it's kind of hard to move around, um, which is good. And that's what we want. Now we're gonna use one of these plant hangers um, or some people use them for shelves from Dollar Tree. I can't believe they're only a dollar. It's such a good deal. And I sort of marked on the pole where I needed to drill my holes. So you'll need two holes. I'm using a metal drill bit with my drill to get those started and kind of lined it up so I knew where to do the second one. Now I definitely wanted this to have a lot of support and stability and be usable. So I headed to Walmart, grabbed one of these 5 8 inch size dowel rods. They're only 97 cents. We're going to insert that into our broom handle and we are going to add our screws through our little hook into the metal pole and then into that wooden dowel that is going to give us so much stability and it's going to let us hang heavier plants onto this plant stand. Now I ended up making two of these because they turned out so, so cute and they are so useful. You could put lanterns on these, so many different things. I even added some more of the same uh, decorative rock in our uh, flower beds into here to cover up that ugly concrete, but it also added even more weight to the base to make it that much more stable. I would love to hear if you created this project, where you would put them and what you would hang off of them because I feel like you could hang patio lights for them. You could hang, of course, flower baskets, uh, lanterns, or some kind of citronella type thing to keep bugs away. So I'd love to hear all about it. You can leave those down in the comments below for me. All right, so I had so much fun with the first project and I'm kind of hooked to this concrete now. I decided to do another concrete project. You're gonna need two planters 
And yes, you're gonna need some Pam cooking spray. Add that spray to the inside of just one of your planters. The second planter is going to be your mixing bowl. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add concrete and water, mix it well until you have a smoother consistency this time. It does not have to be as thick as the first one because this one we want to look nice. Now, once I had the concrete to a thinner consistency that I wanted, I took it and I poured it into that second planter that had the Pam cooking spray. That is going to allow us to remove this and it's basically going to be a form and we're gonna create a plant stand with this. So after I got all of the concrete out of the first bucket into the second bucket, again, a very unique item here are the handles from plungers from Dollar Tree. Yes, you just wanna take the rubber part off. You need three of these total, and we're going to set these into the planter. But first, make sure you wiggle it around, make it smooth, make it flat, get the air bubbles out, and then just in a triangular, equally distanced kind of form and fa fashion, you wanna set these dowel rods or plunger handles around the edges and into the middle of your concrete. I'm also using some painter's tape here to keep these dowel rods from moving around. So again, this was a couple days later after I was able to get back to this project. I just took the tape off, did some little wiggles and shimmying of this planter and popped that plant stand right out. Now I'm gonna be using a sanding sponge that is also from Dollar Tree and I'm just going over the entire concrete part to smooth out any of the rough edges. I decided to go ahead and paint mine white. I'm using chalk paint for this because chalk paint pretty much sticks to anything so it stuck to both the wood and to the concrete, I did have to do a couple of coats and made sure that I got up underneath there as well so that I had good coverage all the way around. So another idea for this would be to cut down your dowel rods. You can make this smaller or shorter. You could pull in your legs a little bit more and get even a taller look. So you just kind of play around with your design and you'll get different looks. If you think you'll be trying concrete projects in the future, give this video a thumbs up. I am loving it and I can't wait to work with this medium much more often now after these trial runs. Then we're going to create a very simple storage solution idea using this planter. It was orange and I wanted this one to match our decor so I took my oil rubbed bronze spray paint and gave it a couple coats. Now I will say that this was a project from a prior video. If you enjoy Dollar Tree organization hacks, I will put a link to those at the end of this video so you can watch them next because this is a great, simple and inexpensive hack. And that's why I wanted to throw it in this video too because it still had to do with these planters. But basically I just spray painted this, put it on our fireplace, rolled up some blankets and got a $1 blanket storage solution. So, so cute, so, so easy. So again, I will have that Dollar Tree Organization Hacks video popping up on your screen so you can watch that next. If you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you join us. Stick around. I bring you new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration here every single week. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching today, and I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting.